Hi! <laughs> so, uh, let's look at the March completed pages. I have more books here than I thought I would have, but uh, here we go. And I haven't tagged anything and I have no idea. So yeah, it's been a while since I filmed also. Uh, I think what I did in uh, Tiny Bla Black Fox by Ola Tunnel, it's probably this one. Let me just check. Yeah, I think it's that one. And I think it's the only one. Yeah. So I finished this one. There we go. Uh, this is uh, water-based markers diluted with water. And, uh, you know, quick one. Uh, yeah. I just used my uh, sort of Crayola-like markers. These are the uh, Fibra color. They're sort of the, I think it's the European version of the Crayolas. Um, so yeah, a bit of gel pen also. A bit of glitter gel pen there. That's Tiny Black Fox. <laughs> Actually, this is a bit weird. <laughs> I finished two Christmas pictures this month, uh, which is a bit weird, but okay. Um, I think the, the thing that spurred me on in Magical Christmas was I showed my uh, completed pages and I showed this page, but unfinished. And I sort of discussed what I wanted to do and I came up with the solution. Uh, so I think, uh, yeah, this is ink tense and uh, the, the yellow uh, parts were already colored in and the green leaves also. A few other things were also already colored. Um, the yellow parts are based with water-based markers. The rest is based with ink tense and then uh, polychromos on top. And I think, um, yeah, I added this blue background to bring it all together. And I really like how that, I really like how it turned out. I am, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I like it. I think I sort of went with the stuff I discussed in that completed pages video. So I did all the stuff in red. And then uh, the, I still haven't looked up what this candle holder is called, uh, in sort of uh, gold or yellow colors and a bit of, uh, Maybe the most interesting part is the different colors in the white here. That it's both gray and blue and a bit of brown and a bit of ochre and a bit of uh, a skin colored, uh, uh, not skin colored, uh, flesh colored uh, pink, uh, both in the candle and also in the actual flame. Uh, if you remember, I was a bit um, concerned about the flame disappearing into the yellow swirls. Uh, but I just solved that by doing it more muted, which is a weird thing. Usually you go for the things that you want to be in focus or in front. You do the more in vivid colors. But in this case, I had all the vivid colors in the background. So I, yeah, I think, I think it works. <laughs> it works in my head. <laughs> uh, and this white swirl also got a bit of shading on it. Right? It's magical, uh, the, magic, the Magical Christmas by Lizzie Mary Cullen. Uh, next up I did a quick one just here in uh, Mille Marotta, finished the work in progress and it's these bugs. I think the one I did was uh, this one. I think that was the only thing I had to finish. Uh, maybe this one as well. I don't really remember but yeah, just fine liners and a bit of uh, white uh, gel pen in the highlights. Uh, ah. And uh, that was fun, you know, mindless. And next up I did, um, oh, I don't know where I have my watercolor sketchbook. I think it's here. Yeah, so I did another picture, you know, with um, one layer in the sketchbook, one layer in the, um, so in watercolor, uh, one layer in, uh, Teresa Goodrich's books, and uh, this doesn't turn out all right, but you know, I think there's a saying that sort of says that every artist paints 10 bad pictures for every good one, but the only way to get rid of the bad pictures is to paint them, to get them out of the, your system, sort of. So this is one of those, I guess. <laughs> it's just, uh, I always look up like a reference on Pinterest and then I try to uh, imitate that, and I mean, the best one this far has been this one. 
but uh, yeah, this one is not that. I don't know really. I think it's. Uh, I think I could go in with more darker nuances somewhere. I don't know. Not liking it. It's all right. <laughs> but uh, in uh, Country Gardens, I actually did also a layer over it later with uh, pencil. So this is not just watercolor. Yeah, uh, but it's watercolor with uh, polychromos on top. And uh, yeah, this is how it turned out. I really like the muted colors again. I think uh, that's my thing with watercolors, that uh, the colors become more muted because I, I'm a bit sloppy with cleaning the palette and stuff like that. And I like doing that, so you know, it's by design. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I really like this. It has some gel pen as well, I think. Yeah, there's some uh, glitter gel pen. I don't know if you can see in the uh, bolts. Yeah. So that's in Country Gardens by Teresa Goodrich. Uh, next up, we have my body color with uh, Colorful Life. And I'll insert her beautiful, beautiful image here also. Uh, I love how it turned out. And it was a lot of... I love her version. <laughs> and, you know, we both... It's really... Uh, um, difficult or it's a double page spread this is how mine turned out let's see if i can bring it up a bit uh, yeah this is my version uh this took ages as it's as it's uh, as it's uh, bound to do with all those details in tomich's book and um yeah i have a lot of uh, glitter uh, sort of channeling my inner color with K. Um, and yeah, so I, I really employed every single trick in the book to make this go as quick as possible. So first there's a layer of water based markers just to get the vividness of the colors. Then there's a layer of uh, ink tons on top to make the more basic shading. And then there's a layer of polychromos to get in the highlights. And for example, a trick uh, here in the the roof. You can see I went in with just in some of the areas and colored them white. That's, you know, some of the tiles, not all of them, just picked out a few of them. And I think that's a nice little way of going about things. Same here, just you see some, some shading with different nuances of, uh, uh, yeah, but the white little dots there. I haven't like shaded each tile, I've just bought up some of them. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, then the, um, I do have some process pictures of the leaves uh, or footage, but I've had really, <laughs> I've had problems with my camera setup this month. So yeah, uh, so I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to insert that uh, in this video or not. Otherwise you might see it in a different video. Um, the shimmer colors are the, um, these, I think it's the, uh, you can see it's really dirty, <laughs> because I lost the, uh, uh, what's it called, the lid. Um, but these are the, I think it's the Kirotake Gamsai Tambi set. These are the only shimmery watercolors that I have, but they're really nice. Like you can have, the, especially the white, you can just mix it in with any color and you'll get a shimmery watercolor. So I don't really feel the need to expand my collection like I feel the want to do it but uh, yeah but that white was used in the stars and the moon and then uh, the butterflies have a bit of the golden there's some silver gel pen in the details here you can see I sort of dotted that it's really I like that effect and the bird also has some shimmer on it yeah I really like that I went for the yellow one, the moss. I was a bit unsure about that. But in the end, because I was like, thought I would go for just the blues and this uh, turquoise color. Uh, but I, um, in the end, I went with the yellow also. I like that. And I like the orange eye of the bird. Right. So that's in uh, Drommenwanger or Zemja Snova by Tomislav Tomic. And Next up, we have a yeah, quick one in Kirby Rosanes. Uh, this is my, um, oh, <laughs> by the way, I, I also, 
have a confession to make. I bought a replacement copy for <laughs> Imagimorphia. Uh, so this is my oldest coloring book and it's really beaten up. It's like really, I mean, I love this book, but you know, it has some, uh, it's been through a lot and it's gotten a lot of love. And there's a lot of old finishes in here. And also this is my favorite Kirby Sonnes book. And what I was, I was sort of feeling like, I, have, I hadn't colored in this book for years, which uh, I felt was a pity. And uh, buying the extra copy, I don't know, it sort of made me want to color in this again, the old one. Because I, uh, there's a lot of pictures in here that I absolutely love. For example, the one that I colored, but I didn't, before I felt like, because it's my favorite Kirby Sennes line art, maybe ever, I want to, do, to wanted to make it, to do it justice, but having a replacement copy released that pressure. So I just did this one, uh, the fox, here we go, really loosely and quickly and without that pressure. So let's see if I can put this in frame. Here we go. Um, yeah, it's just a uh, fine liner scribbling. Uh, fine liner and water based markers. There is some shading on top with uh, polychromos as well. Um, I thought I wanted to film this, but it didn't happen. But you see, it's the scribbliness, it's uh, really messy when you look up close, right? Uh, this is really quick process. It took like one evening to finish the whole fox, which, you know, with all those doodles is uh, really quick. But um, yeah. And the, the pink you see, that's the last thing I added. That's the polychromo, sort of tying it all together, I think, mostly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I really like how it turned out. And I'm really happy that I returned to this book. And I'm happy I've got a replacement copy. I'm just happy, okay? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I'm so glad. Uh, I, I guess this could go for some color along. Maybe I'll take a picture and put it on a hashtag. I've been really bad at uh, joining color alongs uh, lately on Instagram. Really bad at posting this, whatever, <laughs> you know, it, it happens, it's life. It's okay, I'm not going to be harsh against myself for that. It's a hobby. Uh, but that was uh, Imagimorphia by Kebra Sanis. And uh, next up we have Floral Fairies by Carol Craig. And here I did this one. Uh, this was an old whip that I finished. And uh, yeah, it's water-based markers with uh, pencils on top. And uh, I really like it. I like the colors. I, uh, yeah. And if I remember correctly, yeah, I had some bleed through. Um, because this paper is not that great and it's double-sided, but, you know, I prefer double-sided books, actually. But it's a bit of a pity that I had some bleed through, but uh, it's all right. I'll f I fixed it with this darker um gray background and then made her also in this beautiful skin color and i'll continue with this not sure but yeah uh what with markers and pencils on top i already said right i think there's more to say here it was fun uh really like her next up we have in schimmingstima by maria trolle here I finished two whips as well, or one whip, I don't even, I don't even, <laughs> uh, let's see, I think there's the sleeping mouse, oh yeah, I touched up that one, uh, oh yeah, and I finished up, yeah, okay, here we go, three, three pictures in here, yeah, that's right, okay. okay. Uh, okay, let's start with this one. I touched it up. Um, I don't know if you've seen my uh, finished pages in Maria Trolle um, video, but in that I showed how this one is, was before. Uh, and I was uh, bothered by the blackness of the butterflies. So what I did was I went in, erased that black polychromos and uh, went over the ink tan space that was already there with uh, uh, it's burgundy, I guess, color. Uh, let me see if I can find that. It's like a dark brown-red color, something like this. 
uh, the uh, red violet it says okay anyway I uh, went in with that and colored the edges of the butterflies and I, I really like that a lot more it looks a lot more natural than the really black star colors that was there before and I think that's the main thing I did maybe I darkened up up the deer as well oh and I seem to have added a bit of pink into the flowers <laughs> just because but yeah I mean it's um, if I uh, can be bothered I'll insert the old uh, 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 sort of a snapshot from the old video so you can see how it was before uh, it's just it's just me touching up all the images because I felt like it um, then we have this one this was also a uh, base in ink tense already down on the paper and all I did was go in with polychromos and add some shading and again if I remember I'll insert the image there's some Posca dots in the background um, and yeah a lot of fun my trick for like doing stuff like this so I had an inkton space and you can see not all of the leaves or not that this is not leaves like petals not all of the petals are actually shaded in that's Sergey playing in the background sorry <laughs> but not all of the petals are actually shaded in uh, so this one for example is not but this one is and you can see I shaded in on the edges mostly uh, and left the inside in the ink tents so I don't go over the whole and you can almost you can see also that on the sorry here on the edges of this these petals that it's quite I mean I could have blended out that better Maybe I'll do that later, but maybe not, because like on the whole it looks alright, if you ask me. Yeah, lastly I finished this one also. Uh, this was an old work in progress. Yes. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, it was a challenge to do, I think you... Um, in the... Uh, or I didn't really know how to attack it. Uh, with the purple and the red in the same picture but what I did was bring you some of the purple into her dress and I like the purple in her hair being like a bit odd uh, now on the camera she looks a bit washed out she's not in real life she's not that washed out <laughs> I the the white hair around her hat is uh, or cap is uh, I left that intentionally I also changed the design a bit but this you know it's an old whip but I uh, did her head a bit smaller and uh, yeah so this is Posca on her dress Posca in her cap uh, this really stark green color in the background is also green that's green Posca and uh, these orange stripes are in Posca as well um, the rest is ink tense with the pencils on top. No, I'm lying. The hair has uh, water-based markers as a base. Uh, and it's shaded in with purple. Again, trying to tie the purple into the page. Um, and yeah. yeah it's, I'm happy that it's done. It's not my favorite, but I'm really happy that it's done. Could have maybe... Oh, there's some blue in the bird. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, he's shaded in with blue. Maybe if I were to change anything else, it would be to darken up these flowers, both here and here in the bottom. Maybe that's something I'll do. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I might touch this up. <laughs> but, uh, and I might darken up the bird a bit down here. Um, that's just sort of what I see now and especially on camera it sort of gives me extra distance to see what I want to do but yeah um, that's in Skimningstimmen by Maria Trolle uh, yeah then I had a bit of a I bought more stuff uh, I'm finally like you know a working uh, a adult employed person and I have like my first Th these few months I've gathered a bit more money on, on my bank account than I'm used to, so it's hard to, um, yeah, uh, uh, I'll try not to spurge too much on uh, my hobby, but uh, it's fine. I bought uh, Guldkorn and I bought uh, Stardom Dansstjärnorna. 
Uh, this is the new book by Hanna Karlsson. And I, in my uh, Hanna Karlsson tag video, I said that I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it uh, until I saw a flip through. And I saw a flip through and I was like, yes, of course I need this in my life. Uh, because it's, uh, this is maybe, uh, it's maybe my favorite this far. Uh, the picture that I'd seen uh, like a sneak peek of that, I, that made me not sure if I wanted to buy it was, I think this one. This one is not to my liking, really. Uh, but more or less everything else. I love steampunk and uh, yeah. And the picture I did was the nameplate page. And as usual I covered my name because I write in my whole name and my address and everything so that if I ever lose my books they can find their way back to me. But this was just a quick... Yeah, <laughs> just quick. And I think what I want to do, uh, because in all these um, Berättelser från uh, series by Hannah Carlson, so the Tales From series. I, uh, on the other ones, I even colored the edges in the color of the uh, uh, cover. But I uh, want, don't want to do this with black, but uh, what I want to do is to bring, you know, this starry sky black background to each of the pages, I think, somewhere in each. I will try to incorporate that. This was another page I'd seen a, a preview of and wasn't that thrilled. But I mean, that one is awesome. And uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, more from this coming up, I'm sure. <laughs> I also bought uh, Guldkorn. Um, and I filmed, but then scrapped this background. Uh, video and um, yeah I just you know did a washi tape border uh, colored first a layer of ink tens uh, and thought it turned out too vivid so what you can do in that case if you're like me and want a bit more muted let me just bring a bit closer maybe yeah okay uh, is to um, go over with a layer of uh, uh, graphite tints because they're more muted, you know, and what I did was I had a layer of these uh, I think I used like a dark purple uh, ink tens and then a lighter or also a dark blue uh, So purple blue and I probably used the um, Albrecht Durer ultramarine light blue for the lighter areas and uh, color that then I thought it was too vivid and I added a layer of probably, uh, you know, uh, one of the blue tints in the ink tents. Um, and yeah, unfortunately the paper tore a bit when I removed the, uh, uh, here you can see, when I removed the um, washi tape. So I had to, had to add in that line art there. It's fine. I, I can't be bothered to care to. Too much um, but yeah uh, what more oh yeah there's uh, I smoothed it out with the uh, pencils on top also and uh, yeah it's in progress we'll see I had a bit of an accident over here also a smudge from that side was a blue line there but I covered that with I don't know if you, yeah you can sort of see it I covered that with acrylic paint um, yeah Hmm? I hope to do a tutorial on, uh, I won't promise anything, but the, what I plan to do is to do, not a tutorial or a demo, whatever you want to call it, but like cover, color, how I color these sort of owls, I guess, or these sort of birds and, um, they're, because they're ornate birds, right? They aren't uh, realistic. Uh, so how I color ornate animals, maybe, all in all, or ornate objects. Um, spoilers, what I do is more or less I do um, a base of ink tents where I actually do put in the shading so I would do, you know, maybe darker here uh, to sort of make it, but ignoring the lines, just coloring the whole as if it was one color in ink tents, but uh, uh, choosing where to put the shadows. And then I go in with a light water-based markers marker to put out uh, in some of the patterns and that makes it a lot quicker to do than if you were to 
uh, keep in mind both the shading and the patterns at the same time. So instead of first focus on the shading and then focus on the patterns. And it sort of uh, makes the process easier for me at least. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my plan for that. Uh, next up we have uh, another body color. Um, this one with um, the wonderful Kenya colors. And uh, we did the dandelion page. Uh -huh. So yeah, this is my version. Uh, her version is also wonderful. I'll show it here. I love her background with the uh, dots. Uh, it's a wonderful idea. Um, yeah, mine is done with uh, ink tents and pencils on top, and then it has some. Uh, I think you can see the shimmer there. That's from a uh, silver gel pen. Um, I think the yeah the. Um, Stems are based with water-based markers and the uh, all this dreadful <laughs> white gel pen took ages and I hate doing that but the effect is really nice if you ask me. I like that. Um, but yeah, that was Meine Reise durch Europa by Rita Berman. I <laughs> bought another Rita Berman book. Uh, so I think, yeah, uh, let me just do a bit of a, what's it called? Of sticker, what's that? Um, or interlude. <laughs> so a bit of an interlude with uh, what are the new books in my collection. And yeah, I bought all these. So Die Welt unter der Lupe Zolande, Gentle Nature, Magical Creatures of Fantasy, the Matchstick Mouse books. There we go. And the, this one I haven't colored in yet. This matchstick mouse book, my bookish, my secret bookish life I haven't colored in yet, and the Brother Scream. And then I have three more that I bought in December that I haven't colored in yet, and that's Ken Matsuda coloring book, Odyssey, which I have some whips in, as you know, and the Mysterious Library. So these, those are, these are all on my pile for high priority. <laughs> I want to color a page in each book that I own and these six are uh, new ones that I want to coloring. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, with that out of the way, I did color in these five new books that I have. And the first one I have to show you here is the Welt unter Lupe Zolande. And I finished this actually like just a few minutes ago. Uh, here we go, this one. Not that happy with it, but I'm not that. I mean, it's it's fine. <laughs> uh, maybe you can see some of the digital glitter gel pen. Uh, that's another thing that I purchased are the uh, these Pentel Hybrid uh, dual metallic pens. Uh, these are really really lovely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. And. Um, yeah, the rest is done with, uh, so those are the detailing. You can see some of the dotting. Um, but the rest is done with ink tens and the polychromos on top. Um, yeah, should have gone with a different background color, I think. Should have probably swatched out the colors first before committing uh, to the paper, but uh, it's fine. I like it anyway. So yeah, that's that one. Next up we have the Matchstick, Matchstick Mouse books. I did one in autumn. It was uh, this one. It's really, uh, it was really quick. Uh, the reason why I wanted to buy these books were that I thought it might be a sort of mindless coloring book for me. I really like my other mindless book is uh, Olga Golovechkina Alice in Wonderland, which also has these circles. Uh, so um, yeah, I really like that. And I uh, have a bit of a mess there. Okay, uh, but um, this is Polychromos and uh, yeah, it's just Polychromos, I think. I did go over some of the black lines, see here, with the black uh, alcohol marker and uh, but yeah really fun really cute I uh, am not going to burnish this I like it the way it is with the tooth of the paper showing through 
it was also more relaxing to keep it like that and uh, yeah so that's in the autumn coloring book and here's the other christmas picture <laughs> i don't know I, I think it was sort of a, a counter reaction to uh, doing a lot of you know the in the floral fairies and stuff like that doing a lot of um, green summer pictures but yeah so i colored this one and this one has a lot of shimmer in an attempt to save the picture because uh, i didn't at first i didn't like how it turned out i think i like it now actually um but yeah uh so that's um air uh, i think this is oh yeah ink tens and uh, the lot of with water and then uh, polychromos on top and the pentel dual metallic gel pen and um yeah, that's um, <laughs> it's a nice little Christmas picture. I love how cozy it looks. Uh, yeah, makes me happy. I wasn't sure about uh, this, uh, which color to do the, um, is it an armchair? No, what is that? Uh, yeah, that, I think an armchair is right. Uh, but I wasn't sure what color to do this part, the, um, yeah. And I went in with the pentel in the end, and I like that. It's really shimmery in real life, not that much on camera. But yeah, that was fun. And this is the Matchstick Mouse by Morgan O'Brien, this year. And next up we have, uh, I think I did, yeah, first I did the uh, Gentle Nature, and this was really fun. I love these designs. Uh, they are so, so beautiful. I've seen a colorist um, on YouTube start on this one. Uh, I love her version and uh, a lot of fun. But yeah, I finished this one. Uh, this is uh, polychromos and some black fineliner. I think I might be able to let the light catch on, catch on the fineliner so you can see what I did there. No, it's not really showing. But okay, but... Um, so this is polychromos and um, what I did after I'd colored everything was I went in with the fine liner in some of the shadows and put in the black back into uh, them and uh, yeah a lot of fun. I also I was really messy coloring this. I um, want to do a demo on that actually because these can be I think kind of intimidating to color. You don't have the actual I mean, it's grayscale, but it's also line art. <laughs> it's like gray line art mixed with a weird sort of pixelated grayscale. So if you look here, yeah, it's really like, yeah, as I said, pixelated grayscale. Uh, it was a bit challenging to what to what to do, sort of. And uh, I solved it with just being really messy with my coloring. And you can see it in the end result, uh, I think. <laughs> And I like that. Um, yeah, just really scribbly. Um, it took a while though. That's uh, Gentle Nature by Douglas. I think it's... Why doesn't it say on the front page? Huh. I think it's the same author as the... Uh, this one with the magical creatures. Yeah, here we go. Car Carl and Douglas. Um, let me just see so I'm not lying to you. I think this one is also Carl and Douglas. Yeah, quite sure. Um, but yeah, in here I did this one and I finished that yesterday evening. Uh, this is... Um, not sure I like how it turned out. I'm happy it's done. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's um, a base of Derwent Pastel pencils. And then it's polychromos in the shading. Um, there's some Pentel uh, dual metallic again on the green lines. The moon or the sun or whatever that circle is. Uh, is with the um, <sighs> my shimmer paints. What's that? What did I say? Gamsai Tambi. And the uh, yeah, there's some 
Pentel Door Metallic in their little orange dots as well on their bodies. And uh, yeah, it's. I mean, the closer you look at it, the more you can see that it's not perfect, but I like it. I like it quite a lot. It's uh, it's pretty. Yeah, and that's finally it, I think. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> now, you might have noticed that I uh, haven't done my left hand challenge. I will try to do that. I also need to do my spring bottles, uh, but uh, it's not too late yet. It's just March. I think April counts as spring also. I have colored in my neglected book. I've colored a favorite picture, which is the fox from Imagimorthia. I've done body colors. I haven't posted any hashtags, uh, which is, yeah. I have uh, colored a few uh, pictures that fit the season. And I've colored, uh, like, I think five books from Color Your Horde list. I finished a whip, uh, done a nameplate in Hannah Carlson, but not the Kirby nameplate, but okay. Uh, and yeah, so that's it for my month, my month of uh, March. Let's hope that I manage to film the uh, plans for April and actually get all right footage. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, see you.